So <laughs> the office just finished its eight year, nine, nine year run. Uh -huh. And I was so thrilled with a lot of the, because I loved the show, a lot of the press at the end talked about how this was a groundbreaking show and sort of set a new course in American comedy with the single right. camera, the documentary, which is the form. No and laugh track, no everything laugh track. was, yeah. yeah. And so here's my question. Well, a couple questions. You're really funny. I mean, you're, thank no, you know, your work on that show is hilarious. <laughs> oh, thank like, you. Were you always a funny person? Like, where did you pick up the wit? Where's, where's that all coming from? I think I'm just weird. <laughs> 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 well, that counts. So weird. I mean, I'm just quirky weird. I don't know that I'm... So for your character, like, you know, we learned about her and, and fans' refrigeration, and we saw that journey with Bob and everything. Bob, did Bob you dance. make up a whole sort of... Did you have a whole life for Phyllis in your mind that sort of... Uh, to be honest, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, she kind of uh, developed as the through the years. Um, yeah. I mean, I... I I learned that I was going to be married uh, when I sat down at the table read. I didn't have a clue that the writers, really? you know, because okay. we started out as background cast, and um, for the first season and a half, uh, the first season and half of the second season, they hired us on uh, a contractual basis, one show at a time. Oh, okay. And it wasn't until this, the middle of the second season that they decided Here. once the show was starting to make its way into the public and the people were accepting us and liking us um, that they thought they were going to lose the background character so they made a series regulars wow. so in the first season and a half we really just tried to blend in to the back and <laughs> and you know right and do, do yeah, our yeah. yeah we had no computers at our desk at that time we had plastic you know, monitors that looked like computers. So everything we did that first season and a half was, was, was like trying to read a magazine underneath <laughs> something. Uh, and then eventually we got computers, which opened up our yeah. whole life for us because we were end up, we ended up shopping all day. And yeah, so as far as my character Gross. is concerned, <laughs> my character grew in the, the ability to use the computer <laughs> and shop. <laughs> Great ways to go. Yeah, yeah. So nine years. Nine years. And this show was a phenomenon, and then in syndication, and then around the world. Yes. So what was that like for you, from going from like I'm a background person <laughs> faking on a computer, apparently, to parades in Pennsylvania? It was unbelievable. When we hit, we just went to Scranton the first week of May, <coughs> and they had. There were 10,000 people lining the streets, running up to the cars. Um, they were loving us, every one of us, so much. And I was so afraid in the parade that they were going to get their feet run over because they were so excited to see yeah, us. Yeah. They had absolutely no, you know, awareness that the car was going to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in seriousness, it was um, it was just an amazing nine-year run. Um, very blessed. Knew that we had something that hopefully will live on and people right. will enjoy watching like Seinfeld and... Well, and you have, you know, as, as a viewer, you developed such very real affection for those people. Like, you, it really was people, that thing of you developed, which, why I thought the conclusion was so smart and everything sort of... I think it, they did was, a nice did job a really of nice pulling job everything of that. together. Unlike yeah. Seinfeld, you know, I mm -hmm. mean, but it, it, it sort of worked off of that and it was so... Fascinating because the, the humor, the idea was based in truth and right. reality, except we knew it was TV, but that's what was accomplished. He wanted, a, Greg Daniels being he, wanted an everyday, uh, normal kind of uh, company or business that people just went to work, did their job, came home, and he took that inner life of that company and just opened it up like a flower, I suppose, yeah. and he just de developed that. Um, and truly, Greg Daniels, his vision of what he really, and, and for me, when he came back the last season, he left for a couple of seasons doing that other show, you know. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> no. <laughs> and he came back, and once Greg came back, we kind of got back on the track of the original office, yeah. as far as we were concerned. Yeah. And um, I thought he did an excellent job of pulling all of it, the pieces together. He had, he, the last, um, about, maybe a, two months before the end of the show, 
he had each one of the characters to go to his office and set, we sat down with the writers and asked us what we would like to have our character do, how, how we would see our character being pulled together. And one of the things that I said was I wanted my character to have some sort of resolution with Angela because we had been at odds with each other for so many years. Yeah. And, uh, it, you know, depending on what her relationship was, what was going on in her character life, um, and what was going on with me we had sometimes we were friends but mostly we were not mm -hmm. and so we had a nice moment so we're doing nonsense muni style oh. and danny goggin our creator and writer so great it has created a character for you well not created sort of <laughs> adapted because of things but it is created for you and uh tell us about your character well um i think the love of her life besides uh, <laughs> It's cooking. It's cooking, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. yes. And, She's uh, Sister Julia, child of God. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you better yes. do it. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You've got to do it when yes. you say that. She's, yes. Uh, she, yes, she's very reverent. Yes. And she's going to, my understanding is she'll be uh, communicating with the audience and maybe doing a cooking lesson. Is that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, she has a very uh, lovely recipe that she'd like to share with everyone. <laughs> Besides glee butter cake. <laughs> now, do you cook? Actually, do you cook? I bake more than I cook. Yeah. Uh, I, I cook enough to sustain life. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be on the stage. Yes. You grew up. In St. Louis. At, you grew up in St. Louis. Everyone's excited you're here. Me, me included. You included. Um, any I, final thoughts? I'm, I'm really am very excited to have this opportunity. And uh, as I said earlier, a little bit petrified as well. <laughs> but I think it's going to be just great fun. It's and great. Uh, I can't wait to uh, see it from the other, other side, side of this stage. <laughs> <laughs>